and it doesn't break. Rapid development worry. of computer no technology, image sensing, devices, satellite navigation, new materials, even smartphones within the past decade enabled researchers and developers to build smaller and cheaper unmanned aerial vehicles that are now entering many segments of our daily lives. The film industry is increasingly using them for taking stunning aerial shots. Historians use them when they explore ancient ruins. Rescue and recovery teams use them to look for survivors. Even farmers use drones to monitor their crops. A farmer's son, French entrepreneur Roman Farou, saw the usefulness of drones in the farming industry. The company Air Innov that he co-founded developed a light remote-controlled flying wing called AgriDrone, which uses a special optical sensor to analyze crops in the field. The technology used is one similar to the one used by smartphones, but now with wings. The industrialization of electronic parts for smartphones and tablets allowed us to have them. Those GPSs and inertial measurement units at a very low price. A computer program creates the drone's flight pattern to cover the whole plot, while the sensor records four different bands of sunlight reflected off the crops, red, green, and two bands of infrared. Farmer Jean-Baptiste Brugmont says flying the drone at different times of the season and analyzing the recorded data gives a whole range of information about the plants. The first interest I see is the possibility to bring to plants the exact amount of fertilizer they need. The second use, by applying the right doses of fertilizer at the given place of the field, depending on the plant's needs. The excess of nitrogen after harvest is very low, so that is a benefit for nature. Farou says the agri-drone found that the amount of fertilizer varies between zones, showing where it can be cut and resulting in considerable cost savings and a reduction in pollution. Previously, a farmer would have applied the same amount everywhere. Drones also save time because it takes only about a minute to scan an area of up to three hectares. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.